All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So uh, more breaking Jets news, right? We had Jeff Ulbrich, interim head coach Jeff Ulbrich. Still sounds so weird to say that. He came out and addressed the media earlier, announcing that Todd Downing was getting a promotion from quarterback coach and pass game, uh, passing game coordinator to primary play caller as well. So in the process, obviously, Nathaniel Hackett gets a demotion. He's still offensive coordinator, but, you know, clearly Todd Downing is you know, kind of the de facto offensive coordinator. I'm not really sure who's going to be in full charge of game preparation. I would assume it's Todd Downing because what's the point? That it's it, That's just dysfunctional to have Nathaniel Hackett lead the game preparation and then for him to take a back seat in, you know, or sorry, on game days, right? On Sundays, or I guess in this case, Monday against the Buffalo Bills, makes zero, zero sense, no logic to that. So I would assume, again, Todd Downing will step in as the unofficial offensive coordinator. Uh, quick side note, I, I know I still look crazy here, um, still without power, but it is what it is. Um, this breaking news is completely different, right? Different than Sala, different than Ulbrich, different than Hack and, you know, all these, all these guys. Supposedly CAA is parting ways with Hassan Reddick. CAA is Reddick's, I guess, agency. And to be honest with you, I don't even want to put my head in, into the negative realm with Hassan Reddick. This has kind of taken a back seat to literally everything that's been going on. The, the, the losses, the drama, Woody Johnson. And it feels weird to continue to talk about this Reddick situation. Um, you know, I'm not saying I forgot that he was off the team, but sometimes it just slips your mind that he's technically a part of the New York Jets, right? I, I get that same feeling with Malachi Corley. He just doesn't play for whatever reason, um, despite everyone seemingly in the organization loving him uh so you know we're looking ahead here again i you know i really don't want to harp too much on reddick i feel like the entire subject has just been beaten to death uh up to this point we don't truly know what's going on i think if the agency is going to be going this far in to you know wh where they're actually moving on from him that tells me that something is probably not going to be done you know just you know my kind of you know untrained opinion on the matter i i guess you know I, I think if the agency really wanted to get something done because at the end of the day the agency wants to sign big deals as well they, right they want to represent players they want to have good relationships with organizations you know it's hard to be an nfl agent or an agency when you burn you know when when there's uh burn bridges and you know, it, it's very difficult to work with with guys that are going to be dishing out the the contracts, right? Ownerships, uh, or yeah, you know, ownership around the league, general managers across the league. It, it's very difficult to do that. So, for me at least, my kind of take on it. I but I but I guess to kind of push back on that, who the hell knows what's going on with this Reddick situation? All we know right now is that the Eagles completely. Man, uh, to see a, you know a solid pick going back to Philly for this mess that the Jets signed up for, it's again I don't want to get my head too into it. Or, you know I don't want to put myself in a bad mood thinking about it because I'm I'm thinking about brighter times. Right? I'm thinking about a change in accountability. I'm thinking of you know of uh, you know change in leadership and discipline, uh, change in play caller. Right? I'm I'm really excited to change in uniforms this week. Sorry, this weekend. You know, I, I, I'm excited for it. I really, really, really cannot wait to see how this team uh, looks on Monday night against the Buffalo Bills who are going to be coming in uh, playing, you know, some top-notch football. I, I do not see, right, the Buffalo Bills limping into MetLife Stadium and just getting their, uh, just getting beat down. So I'm, I'm expecting a, a big game, but, uh, or sorry, not a big game, but just a back-and-forth kind of brawl. <laughs> right uh what was it uh jeff brom street fight between the numbers or something like that street fight between the the lines the sidelines some crazy quote anyway thanks so much for watching caa moving on from hassan reddick uh again mentioned this before um if you're in florida thinking about you guys tough 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 day tough couple you know last couple of days it's it's been uh it's been brutal hope you guys are staying safe as always go jets